everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new study finds that the world could transition from fossil fuels to cleaner, renewable energy sources in as little as a single decade. The study, produced by the Sussex Energy Group at the University of Sussex, finds that unlike previous transitions from one source of energy to another, which took many decades to complete, the shift away from fossil fuels could be accomplished very quickly, but such a shift wouldn't be easy and would require a worldwide effort with the participation of governments, industry, and consumers. That sort of transition happening in such a brief window of time isn't unprecedented on smaller scales. The study cites Ontario phasing out coal, which was done from 2003 to 2014 as an example. Also cited is France increasing the amount of its energy produced by nuclear power tenfold from 1970 to 1982. The long-promised clean energy revolution can happen and can be completed relatively quickly if enough of us have the will to make it happen. The study is published in the journal Energy Research and Social Science. Next up, a new stem cell therapy has been shown able to improve motor function following a spinal cord injury. An international team led by researchers at Hokkaido University in Japan has succeeded in using stem cells to regenerate severed spinal nerve fibers in rats, allowing the rats to regain movement of their limbs. Especially encouraging is the fact that the regenerated nerves are part of the corticospinal tract, a crucial spinal cord structure that has proven very resistant to cell regeneration. The World Health Organization estimates that between a quarter and a half a million people suffer spinal cord injuries globally every year. A therapy capable of restoring motor function lost in those injuries would be life-changing. But the researchers developing this treatment emphasize that while it's promising, it still needs a lot more work before it's ready for clinical trials on human patients. The study is published in the journal Nature Medicine. And finally, engineers at Columbia University have constructed a Wi-Fi chip capable of delivering twice the capacity at half the size. A team at Columbia's School of Engineering and Applied Science has built a wireless radio capable of full duplex communication, which means that it transmits and receives simultaneously at the same frequency using a single antenna. And it's small enough to fit on a single nanoscale silicon chip. The technology of this chip would, of course, have applications in cell phones and wireless networking, but the research team is already exploring other possible applications. The full duplex Wi-Fi chip was the subject of a presentation at the IEEE International Solid State Circuits Conference in February and is also the subject of a paper published this month in Nature Communications. The transition away from fossil fuels could be completed in a decade if we wanted to do it. A new stem cell therapy is proven effective at regenerating damaged spinal nerves, and a new Wi-Fi chip provides twice the capacity at half the size. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Yes, goodbye. Say goodbye.